everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Laurie. Today we are going to talk about how we're going to make the doll apron. How much fun is this? I'm going to show you this fun, isn't that so cute? Just a little mini doll apron. You can make two of these and they're from, we used a Kimberbell child apron blank to make our doll aprons. You can actually make several but we're going to show you how you make two from one apron today. But what we've done is we've made it wide enough, as you can see, that you can put uh, lots of 4x4 designs on there. So in front of me, I have a few examples of some 4x4 designs that are available. I'm going to turn around so you can see uh, any of these that are in a 4x4 hoop. You can add those onto your apron. And I'm sure there are more out there. These were a few that we grabbed. And how fun to even add this, um, this fringe one. There's a Christmas candy cane uh, from our fringe seasonal flowers. It's so cute and it would be really cute as a little Christmas gift baking cookies with your uh, little doll and your little granddaughter or your daughter. How much fun would that be? How sweet. So great Christmas presents, great birthday presents. Super fun. All right, so we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you, um, this is just a fun way, easy, very simple way to make these patterns. So, for a help, we've designed a pattern that you will be able to download and it is just all done easily on one sheet of paper. Of course, you have your pattern right here and the instructions are here. If you'll note down at the bottom, there's an asterisk. That orange asterisk is uh, kind of throughout the instructions. That is to let you know that there are tips I'm giving you here on Tuesday Tips on the video that will help you with these instructions and help you make this very simply and very easily. Hopefully make it really smooth for you. So to start with, you'll wanna watch the video and then you'll wanna go print these out and then you can go and make your doll patterns. So to get started, the first thing you're gonna do is cut your pattern out along that black line. And so that's what I've done here. This is your pattern piece. So the advantage of using a child apron, the child apron blanks that we have, there's several, First of all, this very first top line that we're gonna use, we're gonna put it on the bottom edge. It says top, but we're putting it on the bottom edge of the child apron. And that way we already have a finished piece right there across the top of our bib. And that's how we're gonna, of the apron, and that's how we're gonna save some time, is right there. It's already done for us. We don't have to, there's no reason to do it again. So that's one of the advantages of using the apron. I simply trace around the pattern here, and then I'm gonna just cut it out. And I have one that I've already cut out. But once it's cut out, you can see the top of that apron is gonna be already finished for you. The second advantage that I find is the very next step that we're gonna do, and that is we're gonna use the bib tie, or the bib part that goes around your neck, as well as the two ties. And I've already cut those off from off of this apron. So we're gonna use those three pieces and you're gonna take them off and don't panic. Yes, we're gonna unpick, but it, there's a tip to that as well. There's a quick way of unpicking them. So here I've got uh, the neck piece and I've just taped it down. You take your seam ripper and you take that red part, the red ball, and you just put it on the inside of that seam and then you just simply my 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 hold is moving on me. You just simply uh, give keep this taut, and you just keep unstitching or unpicking. Look how fast that unpicks. See how fast that was? That just unpicked lickety split. So you'll just unpick those three pieces. After you've done that, you're gonna take those three pieces and you're gonna seam them together. Here I've ironed it open, I've seen them together, and I've made my long strips. And it's gonna make a really long strip. So I cut that strip in half, and you can set one of those strips aside to make your second doll apron. And the first strip will be for your first doll apron, because you're gonna make more than one, right? You're gonna make a whole bunch of these. So that's the first thing that we're gonna do. The second thing you're gonna do is, with a strap piece, after you've seen them together, is you're gonna iron them in half, 
just to find a middle crease. And then you're gonna open that middle crease back up and you're going to fold both raw edges towards the middle and iron it over. So it kind of makes like a binding piece, if you will. And you're just gonna do that for that whole piece. And then you're gonna take your binding piece and I kind of got a little bit of a head right here on this piece. But you're gonna take your binding piece and you're gonna clip it on right here at point A. And point A is marked here on your pattern. I, you can see I've marked point D as well. And B and C are at these top corners. So the first thing you do is clip it on at point A. So that's what I've done. And I just simply open it up, I lay it inside. That way both sides are finished and it finishes the raw edge. And I clip it again. And I've given a nine and a half inches for the neck. Um, that works really good for the doll that I have here. If your doll has a larger head, you'll wanna make it a little larger. I measure nine and a half inches and you can mark it with a pen, you can mark it with a marker, however you'd like. And then I'm gonna move that back down around and I'm gonna clip it on right there at the pinned mark. And clip that on. And then you're gonna continue clipping this on down here at point D and you're gonna clip it on and you're gonna miter your corners, which I'll show you in a minute, and you're gonna continue clipping or pinning, whichever you prefer, until you get clear back around to the beginning. When you get back around to the beginning, you're gonna take your end piece, open it up, and just give it a little tiny tuck and a press. That way, you've got a finished edge and you're just gonna overlap your raw edges right there and you're gonna top stitch. So that's what you would do with that. Then you're gonna to top stitch all the way around this whole piece. But what I wanna show you is how you would miter the corner right here. So for example, this has come down, we're top stitching along the bottom, we're gonna to get to the edge where we're gonna miter the corner, we're gonna double tack it right there and we're gonna pull it out of the machine. Then I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna just basically push it around the corner and I'm gonna fold it over and when I do that, you can see it miters that corner for you so that when you come and you do finish your top stitch, you've already got those corners mitered for you. So it's kind of like you would do a binding if you were attaching a binding front and back at the same time. So once again, you go off the corner, you turn the corner and you pinch that down from corner up here and then you're gonna to top stitch right along there. I'm gonna show you on this apron here. You can see this corner right here is mitered and we just top stitched on it. And it's, you can see it miters it front and back for you. So that's basically all there is to that. And once you've top stitched around it, I'm gonna show you here. We've taken a 12 inch ribbon and we've added it at points A and points D and that's what those markings are also for. So A and D is where you would also add your ribbon. Now you can attach your ribbon to the back side, or if you wanted it off the front side, you could attach it off the front side too. But how cute and how fun is that bugs and kisses? Isn't that so fun? And life's peachy right up here. Lots of fun ideas. I would love to see what designs that you guys come up with and you can put on. You could even just initial your granddaughter's name or initial, that'd be so fun. Just stitching some fun things out or embellish it with a flower. Um, just anything that you can think of. I would love to see what you guys come up with. That would be a lot of fun. So that's how I would go about making the doll apron. And again, this pattern is downloadable. Go to our Kimber Bell Designs website, go to the media tab, and under the media tab is where we will put this and it will be there shortly. I know that some of you are anxious to see that, so please go there and find that and have lots of fun. We wanna see lots of pictures. Thank you so much for joining us today at Tuesday Steps. Bye-bye.